Welcome back to another Space Gas video tutorial. In today's video, we will demonstrate static analysis using the simple rectangular plane frame that you see on the screen. It has pinned supports at the base and the top is loaded with a small horizontal point load and a downward uniformly distributed load. Let's begin by choosing a linear static analysis. Generally, the load cases list field should be left blank so that all load cases are analyzed. However, you can list specific load cases if you don't want to analyze them all. For large models that take a long time to analyze, you can change the optimization settings to speed things up. The analysis optimization video shows this in more detail. Small models of a few hundred members or less are generally analyzed in just a few seconds and therefore don't require optimization. Most of the other fields can be left at their default values. At the end of the analysis, you can see a typical deflected shape that shows a sway of 22.9 to the right. Now, let's double the vertical load to see how it affects the sway. Surprisingly, perhaps, we get the same result. This demonstrates the shortcomings of a linear analysis due to the fact that it doesn't consider second-order effects such as P delta. Let's now revert to the original load and then reanalyze, but this time non-linearly, ensuring that both P delta effects are turned on. Now we are getting larger sway deflections of 37.2. If we double the vertical load once again, and then reanalyze, again non-linearly. The sway deflections increase further to 99.3. Note that while we have doubled the vertical load, the deflections have more than doubled. This demonstrates the non-linear nature of sway frames. So, you can see that non-linear analysis is more accurate than linear and should always be used, especially when sway is involved. A linear analysis is generally much quicker than non-linear because no iterating is involved. However, it should only be used as a quick first analysis or if the model is fully braced. In the next video, we will show how the static analysis is affected when the model's buckling capacity is exceeded.